I hate insecurity. I am on a mission to purge it from humanity. It is the black plague of our souls. It's not a question of do we have it or don't we have it. It shows up in a variety of ways and a variety of forms throughout our lives. It is absolutely extinguishable if we consciously work to remove it. Confidence isn't just the opposite of insecurity. It's the tool we use to extract it from our lives. You and I possess confidence in varying degrees in different aspects of our life for different reasons. One of the most challenging concepts for us to grasp is that we can have confidence where we suck. This is probably why I'm not a motivational speaker. I tend to talk more about how you suck than how awesome you are. I mean, just in case no one's told you yet today, you suck, and I mean in several ways, but you already knew that. Welcome to another episode of Shaping Environments, where we stretch an idea, discovering new dimensions that expands our capacity. What makes insecurity so dastardly is that it attaches to an area of weakness in our life and convinces us to reframe our entire perspective of who we are through that lens of suckage. You know you have areas of weakness. Insecurity fastens to that and attempts to define our life accordingly. It chants the mantra, you're not enough. We think we can have confidence only where we have strengths and insecurities where we have deficiencies. That's a lie. The truth is you can have confidence in areas you suck. Again, I hate to break it to you because you will permanently suck in many of the areas you currently do, so you can't be disqualified from getting to be confident just because those are areas of weaknesses. We all have them. There are three ingredients that create confidence in us. The essential one for extracting insecurities is humility. My simple definition of humility is acknowledge suckage. It has a karaoke effect. Have you ever been to a karaoke before, at a karaoke bar before and watching someone sing and you're cringing to yourself thinking, doesn't anyone love them? Don't they have any friends? And you say to yourself, Oh my goodness, they're doing that sober, and you lose it. And you think, I would never do that in a million years. <laughs> That's what insecurity is counting on. You not doing that. The karaoke effect of humility lets us platform, expose, and revel in our weaknesses. How can someone have so much fun with something they're so bad at? humility. What's happened is they've accepted their suckage as a part of who they are and decoupled insecurity from their weakness. They didn't make weaknesses their strength, they just accepted that's a part of who they are. And then they dared to enjoy themselves in it. The very reality is an option for us that we can be confident where we suck. Insecurity and weaknesses are not synonymous. You can decouple those and live with your weaknesses. Unfortunately, we believe if we divulge those weaknesses at work, it will deter our chance for advancement or even impact the respect. More lies from insecurity. Candid and open communication with collaborative and accountable teams fosters a confident work culture where everyone can bring their best selves, which includes weaknesses. How could you begin a conversation about suckage and confidence with your team? I would love to hear how you've personally combated insecurities or worked with a colleague with insecurities. Please contribute to our conversation below. <laughs> Feel free to share this video as a prompt for dialogue with others in your world you can let them know they suck too. <laughs> My name is Greg Hawks. We shape environments where everyone gets to contribute their best daily. Thanks for letting us serve you.